Right, got a Frigo battery in today. Um, doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Uh, when you turn the key on, which is in the on position now, you get sort of a little flash on there, but nothing else. Uh, we pop the top off, have a look. When you plug it into the charger, nothing happens either. Um, it says it's charging for a minute. Stops charging. Not a lot to. Not a lot really goes on. So. We can have a look inside. And. See what we're up. And to get into these batteries, there are four screws along the top. There are some fuses, uh, so charge boards there, locking barrel. And there's one fuse here, which is the main discharge fuse, and for the charge board, the fuse is actually here, which you can't see underneath the handle. It's uh, it hides under there. Um, smells alright. It's very full of condensation in there. Don't know how much you can see of that. Let me swing you around. It's all just. Very full of condensation, <coughs> which is not ideal, uh, but you know, can't win them all. Uh, let's have a look at this fuse. So I could have done without opening it up, but ooh, it's not a good start, is it? Ugh, rusty. So to check continuity on a fuse, or if the fuse is good, you want to get your multimeter, you want to set it to um, the beep test mode, which is continuity test. For that, my one, I've got to press select. Puts into that one with a little sonar looking symbol on it. And then when these happen, when the leads touch, it will beep. If it's got a, if it's continuous, if it's not, it won't beep. So, there to there. Fuse is good, even though it looks not that great. So there's something else stopping this from working. What? Oh, I do not know. Uh, have a look, see. So there's our on off switch. Let's see if we get continuity on there, shall we? With the key in the on position, this should be. It's beeping, which is good. And when I turn it off, it stops beeping. Great. Um, right. It's just all very wet in there, isn't it? So, what we'd need to do then is have a little look inside here. Oh, there's a little droplets of water coming out. It's not great, is it? There's a limit to how far we can pull this out because we connected up that end to the uh, outputs, but certainly a bit. <coughs> so we can have a look in there. Oh, it's not very sharp, is it? No, it's not. Get that changed out, bear with me. Okay, right, that one's terrifyingly pointy. Should do the job nicely. Start just... Cut into this a little bit. I don't know if we've got 18650s in here or if it's uh, going to be... Um, pouch cells. Looking at this BMS, I think it's going to be 18650s. But delve a little bit deeper. 
I'm sure we'll find out in a second. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, I'll tell you what, I think they're pouch cells. In there. But you want to be very careful with the knife. Yep, there's pouch cells. No 18650s in there. So. Release the BMS. <clears throat> we can get a look at these cells. Uh, negatives over here. And we are the big ones. Cells are good. Okay, 4.1 volts, 4.1 all the way down, 4.1 all the way down. There you go. And they're quite well balanced actually, that's 0 0.03. It's not perfect, but it's really not bad at all. So, normally, if the cells are good and the connections to the BMS are good, so for example, the, uh, you know, the balance wires are good. And then the uh, power at the BMS, so that the negative cable that runs to it and any others are good. Then uh, you put the issue down to the BMS, you replace it, and normally you're all good to go. A um, couple of things we could check on that then are... A, has disconnecting and reconnecting the BMS magically made it come back to life? Possibly. Uh, let's just check that. No, by the looks of it. DC <coughs> uh, volts. 27, 26 volts out of it. You know when I press this, it drops down to 1 volt. <coughs> so something's unhappy. Uh, our main positive should be the same as the one on the charge port. And if we measure to our battery negative, we get 37, it's a bit low, 37 point, oh, that's a weird and fluctuating number. There it goes, 39 volts, 40 volts, 40 volts is about right ish for what we want to see. Uh, and then if we measure to our power out, we get 41 volts. That's interesting, isn't it? What's going on there then? We might have a bit of a wiring fault here, because the voltage I should be seeing is kind of what I am seeing, actually. Weird. <clears throat> Forty volts to there. You probably can't see any of that, can you? Okay. Forty-one point three to the main positive, and then to the ah, oh, it's the charge I was looking at. That's why. To the charge port, we've got forty-one point three two, and then to the power out to the pack other side of the MOSFETs should be that one, I believe. Yeah, not a lot going on there. A 
of that then fall out, wouldn't it? Definitely not right, we're only getting sort of 16, 18 volts out. So there's something going on with the uh, the MOSFETs here, not wanting to turn on, for whatever reason. Um, so it's going to be a new BMS job, test the battery, see what's going on. new BMS and uh, should be good to go. Thanks.